Teacher trouble at a charter school, no stranger to controversy. Allegations a substitute teacher unzipped his pants, fondled himself in front of first graders, and inappropriately touched a girl. Tonight, we have both sides. A day after APS board members elected Annalie Maestas secretary, a new lawsuit surfaced against the one-time executive director of La Promesa Learning Center. She's being sued, along with the PED and Ted Padilla, a substitute teacher at the center of alarming allegations involving a six-year-old girl at the Northwest campus. He uh, touched her inappropriately. Um, he also took advantage of other children in the class and exposed himself inappropriately to other children. In the classroom? In the classroom. Attorneys Kelly Stout Sanchez and Michael Hart represent the family of the girl. Her family called police in September 2015 after the girl came home describing disturbing details. It's our belief that, yeah, there were plenty of indications that he should never have been hired at La Promesa and he certainly never should have been left unsupervised. Padilla is a veteran educator. We tracked him down to get his side of the story. Do you deny the allegations? Absolutely. Padilla didn't want to show his face. Can you open the door so we can talk? No, not right now, sir. I'm, I'm very embarrassed and I've been accused of something horrible and it's not true. Meantime, Padilla is facing the civil lawsuit after the alleged exposure in criminal sexual contact. It has potentially long term, lifetime consequences. Unfortunately, you know, people who want to hurt children are attracted to places where children are. And criminal charges could be coming. The DA's office says it's reviewing this case for prosecution. The state is in the process of debating about stripping La Promesa of its charter because of questionable finances, also lagging academic performance. And another footnote here, the family of the girl that's suing wanted to make it clear they are supportive of the school and La Promesa's new administration.